Almost all video game movement is vectors. And before you click off, because a vector means math, I promise it's not hard to understand. A vector is only a magnitude and a direction. I like to think of it as a set of instructions on how to move a point. So for example, if you had a player and their position was stored as a vector, they start at a point zero zero and you want them to move three points to the right and four points up. And this would be the vector you would apply to get the player to move to that point. The length of the vector is called the magnitude. It just means how far the player had to travel to get to that point. And the other component of the vector is the angle. It is just the angle needed to draw a straight line from that player to the desired position. You can use vectors to store all kinds of data, such as position, velocity, acceleration, and force. Now I'm going to give examples of how vectors are used in making games. My first example will be Mario. Mario uses position vectors, velocity vectors, and acceleration vectors for Mario's movement. The position vector just stores the position that Mario is in, while the velocity vector is what's getting applied to the position vector in order to move Mario. The way this works is called vector addition. It just means to add the x components and the y components of the position and velocity vector together. This resulting vector will be the new position. It will look like this visually. The same concept is used for the acceleration, but replace the position vector with the velocity vector and now add the acceleration vector to get your new velocity. Another example of a game that uses movement are top-down games like Hyperlight Drifter. In these games, your character is able to move up, left, down, and right, but also in the diagonal directions. To do this, you use vectors. We can represent the up, down, left, and right with these vectors, all with magnitude of 1. Now what if you want to move in a diagonal direction? Well, the first step is to add both directions into one vector. So if you were to move down and right, your vector would be 1, 1. The problem though is that this vector has a magnitude greater than 1. This means that if we were to move diagonally, we would be moving faster than if we just moved in a straight direction. To fix this, we need to do something called normalizing the vector. All this means is to make the vector's magnitude equal 1. You do this by simply dividing the vector by its magnitude since any number divided by itself will equal 1. Now we have the correct diagonal vector, but what if you wanted the speed to be greater than 1? In this case, all you have to do is multiply the vector by whatever your speed is. Now the vector will be scaled to the speed that you set, and that is essentially how 2D movement works. 3D movement is very similar, but instead of just having an x and a y, there is also a z coordinate. There are also other things you can do with vectors, but because 95% of you have probably already left this video because of the amount of linear algebra, I'm just going to recommend that you go to the Godot Engine docs. They have a great page about vector math as it relates to game development. Lastly, if you like this video, I would appreciate if you guys subscribed. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers because I was promised a cake if I reached it.